Kao here from Stomp USA. Is trumpet playing all about high notes in the upper register? Well, absolutely not, because it's really about sound and music. However, being a trumpet player first, I know that we all need to be able to play the notes we're asked to play. And if we can't play a note in the upper register, it doesn't matter how great our sound is, we're not going to have that job that requires that note. When I grew up learning how to play the trumpet, it was in the 1970s, which seems like ancient history in some ways. But back then, it was before the internet, and I was living in Hawaii, and the amount of information we got wasn't as great or as readily available as, as it is today. And so what I saw start happening in the equipment world was that certain um, companies, small and large, in the mouthpiece and in the trumpet arena, started figuring out how to play how to make mouthpieces and trumpets that were easier to play in the upper register but in many cases they didn't have the the greatest sound they didn't have that big full resonant sound that I was used to hearing from people like Bud Herseth or Conrad Gazzo or my main mentor Johnny Madrid however if you could buy this mouthpiece and it helped you play a high G at the end of the the night and you needed it for the rock band you were playing in you went for it and you did it even though it didn't sound quite as good and that happened in the trumpet world as well and so what I saw happen through the 70s 80s and even the 90s was the, were the, was the development of trumpets and mouthpieces that again were easier to play throughout the whole range but they didn't have that big full resonant sound that that really characterizes a great trumpet sound to me, the sound with all the colors of the orchestra in it, um, the vibrancy, the, the complexity that makes a great trumpet sound. Well, people growing up in the 90s, 2000s, even the 80s, they weren't necessarily party to these great sounds so much as Bud Herseth and Conrad Gazzo and the others. Um, just because they were listening to newer music and if the newer music they heard was by guys using these mouthpieces and trumpets that were designed to play easier but didn't have the greatest sound then they grew up with the not so great sound being the acceptable sound now I could be an old guy just thinking about the the good old days but I don't believe so and the fortunate thing for me was I started studying uh, acoustics and how related to the trumpet from Bill Cardwell and there's quite a bit of information about him on the Stomp USA website if you're interested in checking it out and he showed me that you could make trumpets and mouthpieces that were easier to play but had a great sound by designing around intonation making the relative intonation as good as possible and it was shortly thereafter that I met Vicente Honorato who had founded Stomvi in Spain and he had the same philosophy that you make the instruments play very well in tune and you get this full resonant sound and mother nature gives you what I call free gas it makes them easier to play so it was an, an easy move for me when uh, Vicente and Carlos his partner in the United States asked me to come on board with Stomp USA because here was a guy who was building trumpets and mouthpieces with the philosophy that I believed in, these big full resonant sounds that were easier to play. And so I believe that, at least in our case, we've been able and are able to bring back the big full resonant sounds that, in my opinion, make a great trumpet sound and still have equipment that's easier to play. Have a great day.